Here's the latest on xtalks.com. Last year, a shortage of EpiPens threw drug manufacturers, regulatory authorities, and consumers into a frenzy. However, this shortage only affected those who had anaphylaxis. Now a different problem affecting the medical device supply chain could jeopardize the lives of millions more. Hello, I'm Candace Tang, life sciences journalist and webinar moderator for xtalks.com, and welcome to this edition of Xtalks Vitals. Our featured webinar for this episode is Reducing Medical Device Product Risk, the Key Role of Clinical Trial Data in Product Development. Click the link in the description below to register for this free webinar. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button on the bottom right corner of this video so that you can always stay up to date on the latest Xtalks Vitals episodes. In February, the Illinois sterilization facility, Sterigenics Willowbrook, was hit with an Environmental Protection Agency warning to shut down operations due to high levels of ethylene oxide, a gas used to clean medical devices. Ethylene oxide destroys pathogens by disrupting cell growth and division, thereby safely and effectively sterilizing medical devices. It's used to clean everything from wound dressings and surgical kits to more intricate devices like catheters and stents. However, this powerful disinfectant can also be harmful to humans. The EPA doesn't say what concentration of ethylene oxide in the air is considered toxic, but even the smallest exposure is associated with a low-level cancer risk. Exposure to ethylene oxide can lead to nausea, headaches, and can irritate the skin and eyes. In the wake of the shutdown, about 600 types of medical devices could be at risk. The FDA released a statement earlier this week saying they're doing what they can to prepare for a possible medical device shortage. Some of the priorities include triaging drug manufacturers to different sterilization centers to ensure there is little to no interruption to the flow of devices to consumers. They're also setting up a web page and email to specifically address questions and concerns about device shortages. Later in spring, the FDA also plans to launch an innovation challenge to encourage companies to develop novel sterilization methods with low environmental impact. While no shortages have been reported yet, drug manufacturers, healthcare facilities, and consumers should be prepared for anything. Subscribe to the Xtalks YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below, and visit xtalks.com for more information on this story and our featured webinar for this episode. Reducing Medical Device Product Risk the key role of clinical trial data in product development. Click the link in the description below to register for this free webinar.